I'm a Tinimbu send shocking message to Nigerians. Hello, Nigerians, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is no more news that President Bola Metinimbu has exactly addressed Nigerians over critical issues about the economy and the country. In his exact words, he has just recently said, I want to thank you about our economy. It is important that you understand the reasons for the policy measures I have taken to compound the serious economic challenges this nation has long faced. I am not going to talk in different terms by dwelling on economic jargon and concepts. I will speak in plain, clear language so that you will know where I stand. More importantly, so that you will see, hopefully, we share my vision regarding the journey to a better Nigeria, more productive economy for our beloved country. For several years, I have consistently maintained the position that the fuel subsidy had to go. These once beneficial measures had outlived its usefulness. The subsidy cost us trillions of naira yearly. Such a vast sum of money would have been better spent on public transportation, healthcare, schools, housing, and even national security. Instead, it was being influenced into the deep pockets and lavished bank accounts of several and some set of individuals. This group has amazed so much wealth and power that they become a serious threat to the fairness of our economy and the integrity of our democratic governance to the blunt Nigerian who could never become the society it has intended to be for a very long time. Powerful yet unelected groups hold enormous influence over our political economy and institution that govern it. The whims of the few should never hold dominant sway over the hopes and aspirations of the many. If we are to be a democracy, the people are not the power of money. Mbola Metinimbu went further to say the presiding administration saw this looming danger as well. Indeed, it made no provision in the 2023 appropriations for subsidy after June this year. Removal of this once help device that had transformed into limestone around the country's neck had become inevitable. Also, the multiple exchange rate system that had been established become nothing but a highway of currency speculation. It is diverted money that should have been used to create jobs, build factories and businesses for millions of Nigerians. Our nation wealth was dulled on favorable terms to a handful of people who had been made filthy rich simply by moving money from one hand to another. It too was extremely unfair. It is also compounded that the threat that the illicit and mass accumulation of money posed on the future of our democratic system and its economy. President Bola Metinimbu went further to stress, I had promised to reform the economy for the long-term good by fighting the major imbalances and had plugged our economy, ending the subsidy and the preferential exchange rate system. We are key to, his, to this fight. The fight is to define the fate and future of our nation. Much is in the balance. Thus far, the deficit in our economy immensely profited a tiny elite. The elite of the elite, you might call them. As we move to fight the flaws in the economy, the people who grow rich from them, predictably we fight back through every means necessary. Our economy is going through a tough path. As you are being halted by it, the cost of fuel has gone up and the cost of commodities in the market are at the high wreck. Food and other prices have followed suit. Household and businesses struggle. Things seem anxious and uncertain. I understand the hardship you face. I wish there were other ways, but there is nothing we could do for now. If there were, I would have taken that, that route and came here to help not to hurt the people and the nation that I love. What I can offer in the immediate is to reduce the burden our current economic situation has imposed on all of us, most especially on businesses, the working class, and the most vulnerable among us. Lastly, President Bola Metinimbu went to state that already the federal government, led by, by him, is working tirelessly and closely with states and local government to implement the interventions 
that we caution the pains of our people across social economic brackets. It's now very clear that President Bola Metinimbu is working on modalities to make sure he cautions all the hardship that is affecting the country. These are one of the reasons where prominent politicians likes of Peter Obi and the rest of them has also implemented and contributed to national matters, stating that he is ought to he ought to make work out some modalities to make sure that the hardship is reduced before making some policies. Well, you have now heard the exact message and the shocking message Bola Metinimbo has expressed and sent to Nigerians, obedience and even P2B and everyone residing in Nigeria and in diaspora. What is your take over the policies and the, what he has stated over making sure that he harmonized the exchange rate and other vices affecting the country? React on the comment section. What is your advice to President Bola Metinimbo's and his administration? And don't forget to share this video, like this video so that everyone will see the exact Statement made by President Bola Metinimbu on this particular day to Nigerians. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button also so that you get notified when I drop more trending videos.